welcome to Farmland. We haven't seen much farmland in this tournament, and I kind of miss this map, in fact. And we have Nat Nat from UK on the Japanese team, and Sticker on the USA team on Tick Fog of War, um, from Croatia. And these guys, uh, I'm not sure if they evenly match. I guess Nat is a bit inexperienced with this competitive play. Sticker has obviously been around for eternity, and has been in pretty much every single tournament. He hasn't actually performed in every tournament to his seed. He's always seeded very high because he's uh, up there with the best plays, but has never lived up to it. But let's see how he goes versus Nat, especially versus Jap Japan. Might be very interesting to see how he plays USA and how he would counter it. So on the Eastern Point, let's see how he goes. Running into an ambush of the... Oh, wow, lucky there. Type 100 unit took out a lot. But is able to out micro with grenades and M1 Garands prevailed. On the western point, we see Type 100 holding with the Thompsons fighting off. You'll say will definitely be better in the next patch or whenever that is released when the other sync is fixed and also the regular squads get buffed. The M1 Garands will certainly be a good, uh, a good buy with the regular squad. And we have nothing spawning again from Staker, interestingly. And we have Nat also with another assault squad, as the Japanese do making advantage of the Type 100s before they do get nerfed. And here is Elite Marksman Squad Rangers. This is the best Elite Marksman Squad in the game with the Johnsons. Let's see them go into action. Just like in same part, Ryan Capazzo. Uh, what do you call it? <laughs> For the Forest Gump guy. Whoever they are, all in the squad. Uh, Tom Sizemore. They're all heading towards the Eastern Point. And it's funny, I, I remember the, the, I didn't remember the most famous person in, in that squad. Uh, <laughs> so let's see how they go. They're running straight into it. Nothing coming so far. They're shooting out a decent range to that assault squad and will definitely be able to win. See their fast shooting abilities. They've got a very high rate of fire and a nice oh, slow grenade. The ping should be decent for both players because it's UK and Croatia. So I don't think there's any sort of ping delay or disadvantage. And here is a Type 92. Interesting buy. That's actually pretty expensive. If you look at it, it's 150 MP, and you can get for 10 more points a tank which can shoot HEs and AP shell. So I'm not too sure about that Type 92 because <clears throat> it can get obsolete if Staker wants to buy a half track or an M20. See half track. You <laughs> see this is what this is the problem there. If you bought a Hargoa, it could have killed the half track. But now this is no chance to kill the half track with the uh, MG Type 92. And let's see this half track come to flank Nat Nat. Ooh, misses through that house. And he goes down this way. And so if this cast is quite slow because I have been awake since 4 a.m. And it's pretty much 12 uh, midnight in Australia. I've been out uh, traveling today for work. And I am so tired. All, all I could think about, um, I couldn't wait to come home to check out uh, the tournament games. That's how much I love this game. And I really look forward to it all day. Um, so I couldn't wait to cast before sleeping, and we see uh, the half track coming by onto the western point. Oh, rear shot on that uh, Type 92. Unfortunately, can it turn? No, Staker's not actually aiming at it. Interestingly, he's not. He's not controlling it properly, and it's in reload mode. But now he is. Uh, can he escape? Oh, it's reload mode again. This Type 92 is surviving miraculously very well, and it's going to get stuck on the edge, and it's running away back. It knows potentially the AT rifles after it, and it is. Ooh, that was a close one. It bounced because it hit the angle. That's the thing with the AT rifles. Even the Japanese AT rifle couldn't penetrate that half track at that time because it hit that little corner. So if you really versus um, good players in a 1v1, they move around their white vehicles too much for the AT rifle to become that effective. But now it's on the field now in this area. It should be able to lock down the center, and Staker would be wise not to attack the center point because he knows the AT rifle is there and now could potentially just wait around this area till a counter can be bought and here is the M3 potentially use, using to or going to be used to snipe AP snipe the enemy pretty close game so far Nat in the lead 7-2 to two at this stage we have Type 92 coming down oh it's going to get ambushed by the M3 he's got decent bank though you can see he's got 10 special points hasn't spent one yet and Still MP for a squad, so I'm not sure why I didn't buy the first pointer. In 1v1, it's definitely the type, or the SSD flame tank could be something that could be used well. But here's the half track. AT rifle still behind that stone wall. Can ambush it, and the hug goes out. 
and we'll potentially kill that half track. Ooh, it's hiding down the house. <clears throat> can the half track even take out the Hagar? It can take it out at that range. Oh, it doesn't need to. The M3 did take it out. <clears throat> and this AT rifle right now is actually being blocked by his own vehicle. <laughs> so he hasn't got a shot at the half track. And now the center point, Mr. Staker has taken it. Out with the grenade. Boom! Whoa, that was a huge one. That was the kettle bomb grenade. See how big the blast radius is of that puppy. And now we can see on the back end, the assault squad is coming from that again. And now the points are ticking towards... Uh, who's ticking towards? It's ticking towards Nat, actually. But Staker is coming up with reinforcements of his own. A regular squad. Oh, this is not the regular. You can see it's got a bigger MG. And that is the 30 cal one-pointer special from USA. And the hub track is still alive, miraculously. That AT rifle hasn't been kind of hunting it, moving positions or uh, displacing and getting to a better firing angle. So we see the Japanese now coming to assault the Eastern Baps. And that flag is a good choice because there isn't too much holding it. The half track can quite easily move flag to flag. Um, really, I guess this AT rifle has been quite useless at this stage and it could even now be countered by a charge. I think Staker knows and he's going to attack this AT rifle and yep, not, unfortunately not um, efficiently used that, that guy. And now we see Staker coming in. I'm trying to cap the Western, he's got some more coming, but a lot of Type 100s, <clears throat> there's only conscripts I believe, no they're riflemen, and Staker's heart track cleans up from the side, so I'm missing a lot of the action, I'm too tired to keep up with the heart track coming, I should have saw that heart track coming a mile away, it just shocked me, <laughs> quite on the screen, oh there's a heart track, <laughs> feel so retarded, uh, too tired, as we see, oh, what the hell was that, Chiha. Shit, another tank surprised me. I'm just not on the ball today. Chiha is out. Um, interesting buy. Not interesting as an in interesting horrible buy. I'm just not too sure what to say right now with him. If it's a good buy or not. Uh, 200 MP. It is actually a decent uh, price. It's a bit more armor than the Hago and Kuno. Wow. Okay, I missed that as well. Um, Staker doesn't get a nice 80 grenade on that. And wow, look at this guy. Three veterancy is mowing down a lot of Japanese assault troops. So taking advantage of the situation, Staker just really pushed up further uh, all the way down to the near, near that, that spawn where he didn't expect it and because he didn't have line of sight, um, that's how you can punish enemies or you can really punish players by attacking a lot because you can find weaknesses in their <clears throat> in their lines and when once you do you can instill a lot of um, rampage in terms of tank ambushes where it least expects it. So Staker even holding the four stone wall position in this uh, derelict house and on the eastern point and another half track is coming from Staker. It's very interesting Staker buying a lot of half tracks versus the Japanese. I'm not sure if this will work in most games but it seems to be working in this game because um, uh, maybe he just thinks the power of the I guess the 50 cal is good enough to really fight the Hago if you play it right. Uh, the half track could even potentially come close to the hill again and pretty much attack and yep, Stakers decides to do that because the 50 cal can penetrate this unit at pretty close range and he's going to try ambush it from the side and he's going to do so. Look at this. Look, 50 cal is going to take it out. Bam! See, this is a um, decent play, I guess. It's a bit of a trade-off, I suppose. 160 MP the half 150 MP the half track. Um, similar price. Um, if you can get, I guess if you can get decent range, this is a better chance because it's got a faster firing rate. And I guess with the M3, it's kind of the bait. So Staker uses the half track as a bait and he's got the M3 to take anything out that will take out this half track. And they're both relatively cheap. Uh, M3, I think it's 130 MP. I can't remember it off my head. I'm pretty sure it is 130 or so. <clears throat> or 140. Correct me um, in the comments if you wish. So long that I haven't played USA because <laughs> not that great in 1v1s in my opinion. But I think Steg has worked out a plan to counter the Japanese that way with the M3 and the half track. Now here's the airborne squad escalating his tears now. As he's. Mm, can, ooh, okay, good game. I was going to say that the infantry killer would probably counter his army. But there you go, good game, Staker. 